This is The Daily Share, your guide to what you're watching, searching, playing, sharing, shopping, and creating. Okay. All right, speaking of punch. Not with my jacket. Not fruit punch. This is the punch that's being shared across the country. Yeah, it sure it's is. a bad one. Take a look. Watch as now former FSU quarterback DeAndre Johnson punches a woman in the face during a fight at a Tallahassee bar. <sighs> Ooh. Dang. Newly released surveillance footage shows what happened that June night. The woman and Johnson argue, and things turn physical. There's pushing and grabbing. It all builds up to this, a strike to the left side of the woman's face. So I don't know why he would do that, especially when it's a woman. It's just like, that's definitely not, not acceptable. I hope something is taking the action about it. That's crazy. I, I hate to see a man hit a female, period, point blank. I just don't like that. And criminal defense attorney Brian Claypool joins us now. Brian, let's get right into this. So DeAndre Johnson... He's 19 years old. He's been charged with misdemeanor battery. Johnson's attorney, Jose Baez, released a statement saying, in part, while it is clear from the video that DeAndre Johnson was not the initial aggressor, he is currently participating in community service and faith-based programs focused on battered women, substance abuse, and the empowerment of children. Brian, you've seen the video. What do you think? We, well, Yasmin, the video is disgusting. It's inexcusable what he did. And we as a society need to start taking more seriously physical assaults by men against women, especially by athletes and by celebrities, like the Bill Cosby examples, is, is sexual abuse against women that was minimized. And we minimized the Ray Rice, for example, the Ray Rice of the Baltimore Ravens. That was minimized as well. We need to stop and we need to make it a priority that anybody, any man who hits a woman, needs to suffer the consequences criminally and needs to get into really intensive therapy, psychological therapy, to get himself straight before he ever thinks about the privilege of playing college or pro sports. Yeah, Brian, Florida State University has suspended Johnson indefinitely, and that's something that they did not do when their former quarterback star, Jameis Winston, was being investigated for rape. The university just released a statement saying they fully support the coach's decision to suspend and dismiss Johnson from the team. Legally speaking, could the university be held liable in any way for Johnson's actions? No, the university is not going to be held liable for any of his actions because it's morally reprehensible what he did. He has to uphold a, a moral code of conduct if he wants the privilege to play college football because you, he has to uphold the reputation of Florida State as well. And the difference between Johnson here and, and the, the, uh, the other quarterback you mentioned, his name escapes me right now, is you have an actual videotape of the, the, the physical assault against this young woman. But, Brian, we and see lawsuits all the time where, you know, all sorts of people are named in the complaint who are ancillary to the individual. Is it because he wasn't serving for Florida State at the time he was just, you know, out socializing as a student that he wouldn't be tethered to any liability for the university? Right, correct. That's okay. a great point. He's not, it, it didn't happen on a football field. Mm -hmm. He didn't assault somebody at practice. He, he, he was out uh, having fun uh, at a bar uh, possibly consuming alcohol, and he was off the clock as far as his football career at Florida State. He physically assaults a woman. He's, he's suspended, which he should be. Florida State will suffer no civil uh, consequences for this, and they should. Brian, I, I want to, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. We don't have a lot of time. I want to get to some of the comments that people are saying online. Uh, one person says, no man should hit a woman or anyone in that case. Loser. He couldn't wait a few more minutes to get a drink. But then other people are on the other side of the aisle, Brian. They're saying, why wasn't the female arrested, too, for assault? She clearly initiated and struck uh, DeAndre Johnson first, not condoning, but come on. I mean, when you do look at that video, Brian, you do you see her being aggressive with him first. It doesn't matter, Yasmin. I mean, your parents and my parents brought us up to, to have manners and, and courtesy. And, 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 and as a man, you, you never hit a woman. He should have walked away from the situation. And that's why he needs intensive counseling. But and Brian, that's not, the but, but does the law actually account for gender when it comes to assault? Well, we don't, we don't see what happened leading up to this as well. We don't know what happened before she uh, did something to him. But if you, as you see, he's got his hands on her before she uh, strikes him. So he's already physically assaulted her before she throws a punch. I have to so say, I, I, don't, I, say di I see it differently, Brian. I actually see her take a swipe first before he takes a swipe. I'm not condoning his actions either, by the way. I'm just saying, from what I'm seeing in this video, she does take a swipe at him first. Well, I, you know what? I, 
Try selling that to a jury. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think that's ever yeah. going to fly in front of a jury. Yeah. yeah. Got it, Brian Claypool. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Appreciate Brian. it. Thanks for having me. All right. Still to come.